Microsoft has a ton of great IP under its belt, especially since beefing up Xbox Game Studios over the past couple of years. With Obsidian, they have The Outer Worlds and Pillars of Eternity. With Rare, they have Killer Instinct and Perfect Dark. And with Exile, they have Wasteland. And that's all without thinking about the Halos, Gears, Minecrafts and Forces of the world. What about some of its long lost IP though? As Microsoft looks to the future, they're building up a huge range of new games with stuff like Grounded and Everworld while also keeping stuff like Halo ticking over. There are rumours of a Fable reboot as well to go along with Age of Empires and Microsoft Flight Simulator as revived classics. Beyond that though, it's reasonable to think that Microsoft may be looking at other IP in its back catalogue for the revive and reboot treatment and here's one in particular I'd love to see brought back. But it's a little bit complicated. Recently, I've become hopelessly addicted to the recent Battletech game, released a couple of years ago by Harebrained Studios and Paradox. As a franchise, Battletech is probably more famous among gamers for its Mech Warrior and Mech Assault titles, based on the tabletop strategy game with lore that dates back literally decades. While playing Battletech, I began getting sucked into a rabbit hole of novels, its complex political landscape, and its small but passionate community of minifig collectors and tabletop role players. My first introduction to the franchise was a brief experience with Mech Assaults on the original Xbox, and although my memories of the game are quite hazy, one thing I do remember about Mech Assault distinctly was how good it felt to play. I feel like games with heavy, hulking, tank-like mechs are few or far between these days, although it's not for lack of trying. Battletech by Harebrained is a truly excellent and complex game, and I can see myself sinking dozens of more hours into it in the coming weeks. Piranha Games is also working on MechWarrior 5, which is now available on Xbox Game Pass for PC in the Epic Game Store. Definitely has problems with perhaps some of the worst companion AI I've ever seen, but the core gameplay is stunning and nostalgic. It all makes me wonder why Microsoft hasn't explored the franchise a little more itself in recent years. Microsoft purchased the Battletech IP's interactive rights when it acquired FASA Interactive Technologies back in 1999. Microsoft has the sole rights to create and license games based on the expansive Battletech lore, but we've barely seen them being used in the past 20 years. MechWarrior 4 launched all the way back in the year 2000, literally decades before we saw MechWarrior 5. Microsoft said back in 1999 that MechWarrior 2 and its expansions had achieved $70 million in sales back in the day, which makes it seem incredibly odd that we haven't seen more from the franchises since. Indeed, MechWarrior is the second most requested classic game on GOG.com with over 54,000 votes. Phil Spencer commented in 2015 that Microsoft isn't working on a Mech Assault or a Mech Commander game, but that they should be. The true problem may lie with the legalese in the original FASA acquisition. Back in 1999, there were no huge-scale internet-connected networks like we see today, certainly no cloud gaming platform to account for, and various other types of storefront. Some of the legal issues may pertain to who actually truly owns the rights to the lore and the art found in the games. A cursory glance at Wikipedia reveals a tangled web of legal complications over the physical aspects of the franchise, with different parts of the IP being cut up and owned by several different companies. Catalyst Game Labs seem to hold the rights to the art and lore at this time, and it ultimately remains unknown the extent to which they will be willing to work with Microsoft to consolidate this legendary franchise. Battletech and MechWarrior 5 for PC do not seem to have created any legal fuss though, and Catalyst Game Labs themselves even tweeted about MechWarrior 5 a few weeks ago. It could be a good sign for the franchise. However, neither Battletech nor MechWarrior seem to be coming to Xbox, which might be a sign of Microsoft's uncertainty over potential legal problems for publishing console versions of those games under these licenses. It's simply hard to say. What isn't hard to say is how awesome Battletech is. It's a sprawling space opera comprised of dozens of planetary systems, hulking and complex mechs, political intrigue across beautiful alien worlds, giant spaceships, and it's all ripe with opportunities for massively multiplayer matches with the right studio and right investment behind it. For now, we've got MechWarrior 5 and Battletech to fill the void, but for more big budget experiences, we may only be able to dream and hope. Are you into the MechWarrior franchise? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this vid, drop us a like, share, sub, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.